Hi guys and welcome back to Koi Fish Johnny. Right, so yesterday as I did my weak clip on test to test my parameters, which is super important and as a Koi Keeper you've got to do this and you've got to do it a lot. It's something I neglected at the beginning and thought it's water but really it's a really important job to do. Yesterday I noticed that my KH um, has dropped down to 3, which as you know ain't great. And it's just natural that the KH does come down as the fish stay in the water, the ammonia comes through and the KH basically gets reduced over time. So it is, that's my understanding anyway, um, it is natural that you would have to top this up. I did have an issue last time um, in relation to my KH and it dropped right, right down. So I just did an emergency measure, went at, straight out there and bought KH Plus, which turns out to be really, 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 really expensive compared to just using bicarbonate soda or soda of bicarbonate or baking soda or whatever there seems to be about four or five different names of which i'll just pop in here now because i think this is quite an interesting point because it can get confusing because when you start start pond keeping you don't you don't really know about your periodic table and all this stuff and when you start getting different names and different like an americanese ways of saying things and english ways of saying things and different terminology that works out different then you got four names or something for one ingredient that can basically improve your kh so anyway these are the four names of the stuff i have bought all of which comes under this 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 sodium mine's called sodium bicarbonate basically what that is is apparently it's got a ph level of eight it's alkalinity it's used in baking so uh, called baking soda because people use it in baking because when it mixed with the moisture or the the uh when it mixed with moisture or water within a baking product and say an acidic product such as lemon for instance when it acts like that it basically helps the cake bake or something on their lines and basically in a nutshell sodium bicarbonate it's alkalinity levels and it's a chemical compound that basically will improve your kh in your pond it has got like one of them funny long uh names for the chemical comp compound which i'm going to say now uh off the top of my head nah co3 so that's the chemical compound structure of what this is this baking soda or one of the other names that you might want to select but the moral of the story here is you don't need to go out and pay uh, i had a quick look before 37 quid was the best deal i could find on a five kilogram bag of kh buffer up okay you can literally just go out and buy this on ebay or anywhere you want for like under a tenner so you can get four of these for the price of a k uh, for, for the price of kh buffer for koi all right and it does exactly the same job i even think it's the same compound i've been told i don't know that don't quote me on that but i'm led to believe it's exactly the same stuff but because it's got a little koi badge on it and because it's dedicated to koi and people think it's more trust or it is more trustworthy or whatever it's four times more expensive now who wants to pay anything for anything that's four times more expensive and does exactly the same job anyway this is the products that we are going to be using today because like i say my kh in my pond is currently at three and this is going to improve it when i had this problem last time i made quite a few mistakes a i used most expensive stuff and b i added it to the pond too quickly and too much okay so when you're doing this you want to improve the kh by one one point per day so when i've looked at it and i've done a little bit of research on youtube and stuff like that it basically says 100 grams uh, per 1000 gallons is apparently the breakdown to do it uh, i've had a look on different people's it seems to be consistent on that so my pond is about 2400 gallons so i'm gonna do 200 grams which is less slightly less but i just want to edge on the side of caution for this first treatment of the picardinate soda or whatever one of the four names you want to use i want to bring it up slowly so i'm just going to do 200 grams i'm going to do a reading tomorrow and see if hopefully fingers crossed it will have improved to four and then i'll just repeat the process therefore not shocking the fish so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mix it up in a blue bowl which i haven't got it in shot but believe me it's there it's my blue bowl trusted blue bowl that i use all the time so i'm going to get pond water in that i'm going to get um measure out 200 grams worth of bicarbonate soda mix it in and then systematically over an hour introduce it to the pond therefore not to startle the fish Un unbalance the kh which 
as we know the kh is a stabilizer to the ph which if the ph starts fluctuating especially if the ph goes down we have an issue because if the ph at four will basically burn the skin of your fish and i don't know about you but this the feeling of getting burnt isn't something that you want for any animal so that's why we need to manage our water parameters correctly and make sure they're as safe as possible so basically let's stabilize the kh and look after the ph okay because my ph is sound bad but i forgot to mention that my ph is sitting at i think it's about 7.8 7.6 and last time i did this my ph because i added like uh, i think it was two and a half kilos or five kilos at a time you have to check my last videos or go back through it um nt labs kh buffer up i added it all at once and it did have an effect on my ph it sent it up to like eight and a half nine it was a mistake on my behalf but like i say i'm new to, relatively new to pond keeping and these are mistakes that you can avoid via my experience so i'm going to go mix this up now and measure out the 200 grams okay guys so i've measured that out this is what 200 grams of not cocaine that is 200 grams worth of sodium bicarbonate and that is exactly what we need there is my bucket of water pond water which i've literally just took out i'm ready to mix it up i'm going to mix it up with this or this end because i can't find the other end of the drill so i'm just going to whisk it around nicely then i'm going to systematically add it over the course of an hour maybe even longer gently into the pond water therefore not to start all like i've just done not to start all these little rascals uh which i would say the pond water is absolutely looking amazing i mean look at it beautiful beautiful otis there see otis my shagoi one second he's coming on a treat that shagoi he's not the biggest grower i don't think uh of the year as you know oh here we go here we go here we go here's fredster here he is there you go big fred coming up for an appearance that is going to go in there we're going to mix it round uh and the other thing here as i've got is my boss cup as you know my wife bought me this to lure me into a false sense of security because as you know i'm not the boss oh one thing i would like to say before uh i cut this part section off is i've got massive plans coming in the future for this area around the back uh what, what I'm, I'm gonna have to move in the, the uh filter the the nexus i'm gonna have to move the nexus and put the nexus in that corner to allow space so i can put some type of um some type of storage unit there or container or something going across here so i'm basically gonna have to move that i'm gonna do another video on that so please stay tuned please like and subscribe and you will see my future plans because i'm gonna draw the plans out and sort of come up with what to do how to do this um to optimize the use of that space and also i'm thinking about putting like windows in so i'm making it in my office so i can see my pond i've given everything away there but i'm going to do a proper video on that because i'm quite excited and i'd like to see um a little bit of input from you guys on on the best way to get the bottom drain coming out there into the corner but that's another video let's go back to the sodium garden right so i'm going to mix this in i'm going to pour this in here in fact let's do it let's go, go crazy and let's actually do this now i'm going to raise you up okay so like i'm a million miles away on this selfie stick thing that i've got used to and we're basically just going to pour this if we can see oh did you hear the knees then jesus i'm going to pour that in there so that was very exciting wasn't it okay but to be honest when i'm watching other people's videos i do like actually seeing them do it not actually tell me about it so that is probably cool so i'm going to get every little bit of juice off there because i'm a tight git like that get that out bring down my red magic stick uh and whisk it all about yeah i don't need to get i don't i don't i don't need to get the drill for that do i i'm doing it a dream so now this water that we have here which i'm just going to leave that in there for a second so whisk it again before we put it in so now we have that water now it's alkalinity level is probably about eight and that is what is going to stabilize or increase this kh to look after the pond water we're going to add it slowly, sensibly and methodically over the course of today and then we're going to test it tomorrow morning. But this video is, literally this is the morning, this is Saturday morning. Uh, so this video is only going to have the preparation, not the testing. But I'll let you know 
what goes on and how the, how the, how the results come about. So I want to raise the KH up to seven, eight ish. So obviously if we're trying to do one a day and we're on free now, it's going to take five days to get there in the perfect world and not to shot the fish. So let's go and add it round now. Just before we start, so I found the perfect place. Look at them fish. I mean, look at that Sankey, see him, that one. I'm gonna try and get a video of him closer up because some of the sumi, which is the black, uh, just below the surface is magnificent. It looks like he hasn't got any marks below his lateral line and his color, he's, I'm just so excited to see how he looks in the end. But anyway, it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna crack on with this. I'll just pop you here. And there you can see a bit of the fish and you can see a bit of Johnny adding his bacard in it. So, just so you know, you might not be able to see me, I'm whisking again, and we're going to add this, okay? So, the fish are all, as the fish are all there, let's go down here. Okay, so that was about, um, that last little blast was a little bit much too much so i didn't really want to put that in there but i was too lazy to walk around the back but as you can see in the bowl let me drop you down to the bowl we took about 33 percent out there which i only wanted to do like 25 percent i'm not going to continue to video every half an hour that i add it uh, which is probably about where i'm going to aim for so it's going to take two hours if what i do four or yeah about four drops so it's going to go out systematically for two hours um, so what I'd say is this, a lot more cost effective, it does look dodgy when you're measuring it out and it does what it says on the tin, or not, it doesn't, it doesn't do what it says on tin because you're supposed to be baking cakes with this stuff or something like that, but it, I think it's going to be good for the fish. So if you've got a problem with your KH or your KH is low, get yourself some sodium of bicardinate, bicardinate soda, baking soda, whatever you want to call it. They're the names that you want. Uh, get that in and get your KH boosted. In fact, subscribe to the channel and get ready for the next episode because hopefully the chemical balance within the pond will be safe and sound and the fish will all be healthy. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, oh, one thing I do want to say before I go, this weekend I was hoping to be on tour, but unfortunately it didn't work out. There was just various different things that happened uh, at different points that didn't allow me to... Uh, get on the road but i am going on the road in the future uh just need to be a bit more like less gun ho with it because i literally had the idea on a friday and wanted to be out of the country the next friday which let's face it needs a little bit more organizing than that so i hope to be bringing you some fantastic content soon of johnny on tour but for now it's all about the sodium bicarbonate guys and adding that to the pond to stabilize your kh which supports your pH, which stops your fish burning or issues with your pond. Okay, guys, I know it's like a little bit of a chemical compound lesson, this one. Not the most exciting, but nonetheless, this is just like Johnny's journey with his koi pond. Take care. Please like, subscribe. Peace out.